This costume was created for the HBO film Behind the Candelabra by Ellen Morajnik, the veteran Hollywood costume designer, to Michael Douglas for over 30 years. Most of the costumes from the film were donated to the Liberace Foundation. They had won Golden Globes, Emmys, and were exhibited by the Liberace Foundation in 2015 when Ellen Morajnik won the Hollywood Costume Design Guild Lifetime Achievement Award. Behind the Candelabra did much to bring Liberace to a new generation. We have an original movie poster exhibited with the actors wearing two of the costumes Ellen created. The extraordinary detail of these movie imitations of actual artifact costumes which were originally created for Liberace by Michael Travis and Anna Natis have been seen in many other appearances whenever a Liberace character is licensed for a television or film feature. We're standing in the closet that we recreated for the movie. We have the original costumes of Liberace's from the Liberace Museum. You can tell these are uh, covered in Swarovski crystals. This suit must weigh about 60 pounds. This had a cape as well. So, you know, the whole thing probably weighed 120 pounds and he had to do an entire show. Giselle Morajnik, the costume designer, had to do an interpretation of this outfit, but in lighter material. Liberace! This is a fancy show, so you can't put rented clothes on the leading man, both leading men, because it has to look new. So we started to create it from scratch. This is Joyce who's putting the finishing touches on our cape that actually goes to what is referred to as his lasagna costume. Can you see me now? It is all ostrich feathers. We have handles on the inside of there so that Michael can grab this and actually show the audience this is the inside of his cape. <laughs> 